Thanks for joining us. Our big story tonight. Pressure is mounting against a state senator accused of terrible crimes. Democrat Tony Navarrete of Phoenix is facing several felony charges accused of sexually abusing a young boy. According to a police report, the young boy lived with Navarrete while the alleged abuse occurred over several years. Good evening, I'm Cariba Devine. I'm Mark Curtis. Tonight, Navarrete is facing calls to resign from both sides of the aisle, as well as from Governor Ducey. Team 12 political insider Bram Resnick has more on the latest developments today. Senator Navarrete has been released from jail on $50,000 bond, and now he's on the verge of losing his Senate job and his day job. But he's not talking. Here's what we know. Sexual exploitation will not be tolerated in any capacity in the Arizona legislature. Democratic State Senator Tony Navarrete now faces an ethics investigation by the Senate. When it's over, Navarrete's fellow senators could kick him out of office. Navarrete's alleged sex crimes against two children have brought together Republicans and Democrats in a rare show of unity. The Senate leaders of both parties said, we are joining together to call for the senator's immediate resignation. No one benefits from any further delay. We are not going to get anything solved unless there is real legislation. The 35-year-old Navarrete's day job is as a $58,000 a year liaison with Neighborhood Ministries in Phoenix. The faith-based nonprofit provides programs for school-aged children and families. Neighborhood Ministries issued this statement on Monday. We are heartbroken by the news. We remain in steadfast prayer for the victims. Tony was placed on leave and will be formally terminated when the leave ends. Phoenix police say Navarrete acknowledged the years-long abuse in a taped phone call with his accuser last week. The senator is also accused of molesting the boy's younger brother. A Phoenix police spokeswoman tells 12 News that investigators have no evidence that there are other victims. If convicted on all seven counts, a prosecutor says, Navarrete would face a minimum 49 years in jail. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.